Hey guys, so I just wanted to compare the Moto G5 Plus with the Moto G4 Plus. Uh, the G5 Plus is coming in a slightly smaller design, but it uh, feels really much better in terms of the premium. Uh, we're going to have a look how they compare here, uh, because I think there are some regressions as well as some improvements on the G5 Plus that you need to be aware of. Uh, obviously the first thing is the screen size, it is uh, quite small now, 5.2 versus 5.5. Uh, another thing I've noticed is the actual uh, contrast ratio and uh, the brightness of the screen doesn't seem to be as good as the Moto G4 for some reason. The animations are just as good when it comes to the boot up. So. I can just demonstrate what I mean by the uh, colours here. So let's just go to, let's say, this Play Store. And they're both on the max brightness, as you can see. Uh, do we have the thing on? Let's just have a look. There, we'll get rid of that. So you can see they're both on the max brightness now and let's go to the Play Store uh, straight away you can see uh, if I tilt it to the side here the uh, Moto G5 Plus doesn't retain its colours as well for some reason so I think the screen is actually better here on the old boy uh, which is you know not uh, the best thing I like to see but you know you get the job done nevertheless I think you can see as well from the uh, bottom how like dark the contrast is on the Moto G4 uh, Plus compared to the Moto G5 here which is like grey at the bottom uh, but nevertheless let's have a look how they do compare we're going to uh, just run through a quick speed test and then see you know whether you should upgrade or not to the G5 Plus let's uh, just run some of these apps here So we're running a Snapdragon 625 versus Snapdragon 617 and you can see already there is uh, quite a huge difference in terms of the responsiveness of each handset with the G5 Plus uh, clearly dominating the, the older model on pretty much everything. Uh, which is nice, we do like to see a good uh, improvement in terms of the speed again we can see the dark background here, nice high contrasty versus very grey on the uh, G5 uh, the, the actual game does load fast though on the G5 again you can see uh, we are getting some improvement in terms of the performance Which is good, and we have Fruit Ninja. So I'm just going to open up three games today because it did struggle when trying to open up four. Uh, we're going to do some web browsing. So let's just go to the Google. And then let's go to Daily Mail. So let's just go to the home page. And then we can see what's this doing. It's got a mind of its own. Right, so let's go to the bottom and see how they handle this. Straight away you can see the the uh, G5 seems to be a little bit better in terms of loading stuff. Nice and fast compared to the G4 which is really struggling. Uh, let's try a link here. Just trying to find it. There we go. So slightly faster on the left to load that uh, link which is good one more and let 
uh, you see I'm trying to go to the the search page and it's taken me straight to the website let's try another one verge But you can see the G4 is still uh, quite snappy here in terms of the Verge. But I think uh, when it comes to actually loading the content, if I could click on the correct thing, uh, it's, uh, it's much faster here on the G5 Plus ultimately. Uh, so that uh, is a nice improvement. Uh, we're just going to round off with the multitasking. So I can't remember the RAM, I think it's 3 gigs in the Moto G4 Plus, uh, but then again you could get one with 2 gigs as well, and uh, 4 gigs as well, so there's lots of different configuration. This is 3 gig uh, Moto G5, and you can see it struggles holding things in memory, even the most basic apps, uh, but it does come up with them nice and fast as you can see. Uh, which is good, you know, I'll, I'll give it consolation but I still want uh, the fluid uh, multitasking really that would be better so you can see the G5 it does, you can't keep the games in memory but it leaves the G4 standing Got I can't get over that display though, you know, there's a massive difference there in terms of the display, it's like they've uh, cheaped out there uh, maybe they realized that this display was really amazing for the price and you know uh, it did cheap out but nevertheless I think it's a solid improvement you know in, in the areas that count uh, for example the camera I've been doing some shots with today and I gotta say I'm really impressed with it you know it's coming with the same sensor as the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge apparently uh, so you're getting a 1.7 aperture uh, which is a massive improvement over this one which I think was 60 megapixel uh, to like uh, I think 2 aperture so not the brightest uh, I would have liked to have seen type C as an improvement you know it would have been nice but nevertheless it's not a huge deal I think the back did come off on the Moto uh, G4 uh, which did reveal the uh, stuff that you could get access to you couldn't remove the battery unfortunately uh, similar to this one as well but you can on the Moto G5 normal apparently uh, so that's good if you you know worried about the battery degradation so uh, something to consider uh, I think they've moved the headphone jack in a weird place on the G the uh, G5 here you can see it was in a better place on the G4 at the top don't know why they moved it down there but nevertheless uh, overall it looks, looks like a solid handset you know you should be aware of the screen uh, is a regression in my opinion uh, the fingerprint sensor is definitely pretty good though compared to the square one on the G4 and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed the comparison found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one cheers